Today is Friday, August 10th. Mm, it's a big day today. It's the first drop of Palace uh, Fall Winter 2018 collection. I cop something. I cop a little, little T-shirt that, that I'm gonna show you right now. The tea called the Fun Tea, fun tea Shirt. Why I cop that tea? Because I think it's gonna match perfectly with the shun with a spoon. For the confirmation, hop. You can see. I think like it's perfect. Oh, I'm not gonna wear my shun with a spoon until maybe one year or two. I don't like to wear the same shoes as everybody, so I prefer to let the trend go. I'm not in a hurry to wear them. I let them sit in my house. They're cool. And when everybody's gonna forget about them, boom! I'm gonna drop them. And yes, them is gonna be like. A lot of teas, as they used to do for the first drop. Uh, a lot of jackets, hoodies, and obviously on the first day they dropped the bags. Usually the small bags are all sold out really quickly. They're nice, but I prefer the colors from last season because they had like two colors, orange and camo. I think it's like 38 for the, the Palace tea and 48 for the, for the Supreme tea. It's not nothing today, you know. Everybody knows we are not taking Palace here. It's not like a, a brand that they sell here. People who are coming here, it's not like the brand they are looking for. They are looking for Supreme, which is more like, like since Louis Vuitton, you know, the collaboration with Louis Vuitton, like Supreme is like going up. So, no, Palace is like vape. Here it's like sitting. Oh so, yeah, that's it. That's first drop, 2018. Hi, I'm Patrick from Romania and I just came in the present my store to see some very rare sneakers. Today I copped some pants from the Palace Drop. I copped it from Dover Street. I didn't went to the Palace store. This was my number. So they were not like that much things. My name is Peter. My name is Pei. I'm from China. We go to get the queue at 6, but the, the staff told us we don't need to be so early next time. Just 8 to get the job, so I'm not lucky. The first 5 people in the queue, but I get 155. I'm not lucky, but this guy uh, is 58, I think. I only got um, the mixed, mixed t-shirt. A uh, white one in medium size and also a uh, shoulder bag in white. I got three mixer tea, mixer tea and one uh, three socks. Purple, uh, this is black one, small one, and purple small one, gray medium one and yellow this uh, for small one. I heard from a reseller that there is only three small tea for purple one. Today. I will choose one to wear it and the other I will sell. <laughs> yeah. I prefer wear it. I prefer Supreme, I think. Both. I, I like both of them. Palace, yeah, palace, yeah. Palace. Because today we go to yeah, Palace. Yeah, palace. When we go to Supreme, we wear a Supreme t-shirt. We, we follow your Instagram, so we came here. Yeah. Just have a look, enjoy the very uh, real clothes. This, show, this store is so good. Faster. Brazilian shop I saw in London and also in China. This is the best one, I think. Look at this rain. It wasn't that bad this morning. No, it's pouring. If I get so game what we want. <laughs> Yeah, sunlight, yeah. Say no more. Quickly before it starts raining again. Obviously, just taking a few shots. You know, we've got the master photographer Ryan here. So, if you want to follow me on Instagram at the one day HSR, you'll see all the fantastic pictures. You can like a few, 
You can check out Crypto Tech pictures, check out Presenter Buyers pictures, all taken by Ryan. Authenticating by as well. We've got the videos coming as well, so stay tuned for that. Hello guys, uh, today another crep check. So today is gonna be John and One um, Japan edition. So maybe for you it looks like a random Jordan, but uh, I know for some OGs they will notice that the leather is like something else. So what's particular with that Jordan? Um, so as it's called, it's a Japan edition. So drop only in Japan in 2001. So 2001 is like one of the best here in terms of leather, in terms of retro. So one of the particular thing with that shoes, it's like they are numbered. So there is only 3,000 pair in the world and I've got the number 2,959. The, the way they crease, like even if they crease, they are back original. That's the, the beauty of that leather. It's like really crazy. They are like amazing shoes. I bought them for maybe 100 and... 120 pounds, something like that. It's not like a shoe who has big value. There is a history behind that shoe. It's not about off-white resale or stuff like that. It's just like in terms of history, in terms of um, sneakerhead, OG collectors. Uh, Air Jordan 1, so the, the first release was in 19, 1985. Uh, obviously, the third Jordan 1 was um, released uh, for Michael Jordan. To relate to my previous crap check about the Bannet, uh, why there is a cross on my bonnet? Because at the beginning, when they dropped the Jordan ones, uh, it was in black and red, the red ones. But the NBA players back in the days, during the 80s, they were playing only with uh, white colors. So it was forbidden for Michael Jordan to play with the black and red uh, shoe. But Nike paid the penalties. So that's why they are like banned, but not really banned because he, he, he was able to play with them as well. So that's the story of Jordan. And then they did like so many releases, so then came the royal, the blue and black, then the shadow, the grey. That's the, the story of Jordan. I think in my collection I have like maybe 10 pairs of Jordan ones. I think Jordan one is one of the easiest pair to wear. It's not like in terms of comfort, it's not like the pair that I will recommend, obviously. In terms of uh, shape, history, the fact that there is like a lot of colors, a lot of colorways for the Jordan ones is like one of the best the best Jordans ever. Basketball is my domain. I will anywhere find you. Anywhere in London, give me your full and the call and it's game on. Like It was five o'clock. I was downstairs doing the stock room and I've come upstairs. He was looking at the our clothes rack. He was with his friends, a few of his friends. And I walked right past him, I didn't realise, obviously, I've turned around, I've seen a text of Bellerin, he didn't crop anything. He said he'll be back, so hopefully he'll crop something next time. I'm an Arsenal fan, obviously, my dad was an Arsenal fan, my son could be an Arsenal fan, if he's not an Arsenal fan, he'll get disowned, it's unfortunate. Obviously, you've got to keep like the family tradition going, so if your dad's a Man City fan, you've got to be a Man City fan. If your dad's Arsenal, you've got to be Arsenal. Can't, can't switch up on your family, can't switch up on your team like that. Working in such a like high-end environment, we see a lot of famous people, basically. We see a lot of famous people. So after a while, like you start to realize they're just normal people who have just been successful at what they've done. So it's good to talk to them and learn from them, to like just like, converse with them, find out how they're doing, find out what they do, find out how their life's going. Because me personally, I won't never get starstruck over somebody. Like Even if Kanye come in through the door, I'll chat to him the same way I'll chat to like Lavar Ball, Hector Bellerin, all the people that come in. I'll chat to him the same way with respect to Ribs, to Antonella, anyone. You speak to them the same way. You welcome them to the store, you give them crap protect, give them good service, you talk to them nicely, and you just converse with them, make them feel welcome in the store. And hopefully we'll start seeing more of them in the future. I like to see, you know, I like to see, I don't know, Walcott, a few of the English guys, maybe Marcus Rashford, I don't know, I don't know what he's doing, Harry Kane, he's, he's local. Yeah, a couple more, maybe the English players coming through to stop by. We're in Central, so. These men know where to find the store, innit? 15 Percy Street, you can pull up. <laughs>